Hello everyone. Welcome back here in this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, you will learn the step-by-step -step process of making customer invoice and payment tracker template. Let's start with the process. In the row number three, write the column headers required for the template. Adjust the column widths. Wrap text to fit it inside cell. Change the alignment to middle and center. Now, select some rows and apply borders. Apply highlight in the column headers. Now, in second sheet, make a list of customers and credit sides. Click on Payment Tracker Sheet. Here in this Customer Name column, make drop-down list to select the customers. For this, select the range. Click on Data tab. Click on Data Validation. In this drop-down, choose List. Click on the Source box. Then click on Customer Information Sheet, then select the Customer Name range. While selecting, select more some blank rows too. This is because if some customer are added in the list, it will reflect in the drop-down too. Click on OK. Here, customer name selection drop-down list has been created. Now, before using formulas, let's enter some details of invoice here. Now, in this Nod column, we will calculate the number of days from the invoice date till today. For this, press equals. Type today. Open and close parentheses. Minus, click on invoice date. Then press enter. Change the cell formatting to general. This is the count of days from invoice date to today's date. Use the fill handle to drag it down. In the overdue date, we have to add the credit side given to customer with invoice date. So, press equals, click on invoice date. Type plus symbol. Now use the VLOOKUP function to fetch credit side. This calculated the overdue date. Drag the formula down for other rows. The payment received column should be filled manually. In the difference column, subtract the invoice amount from payment received amount. Then drag it down. In the date of receipt column, input the payment date when the customer pays payment. In the days taken for payment, subtract the invoice date from the payment received date. Then drag it down. Now let's fill some data in payment received and date of receipt. The difference and days taken is calculated. For the days taken, change the cell formatting to general. This is the number of days customer took to pay the payment of invoice. Now, here in the status of invoice, we will display overdue or paid dynamically. If the difference amount is equal to zero, the invoice is supposed to be paid. For overdue, the overdue date should be less than today's date. For this, let's use IFS function here in this column. Press equals then type FS function. Open the parentheses. In the logical test one parameter, write the first logic for paid invoice. That is, click on difference amount cell, type equals zero, then give a comma. In the value if true one parameter, write double quotation paid double quotation, then give a comma. In the logical test two, write the second logic for the overdue invoice. That is, click on first cell of overdue date column. Type the less than symbol. Then type today, open and close parentheses. Now give a comma. In the value if true to parameter, 
right double quotation overdue double quotation. Close parenthesis and press enter. Now this formula will display either paid or overdue automatically. If both of the logic fails, then it will display NA error. To remove NA error, combine the if error function. Double click on the formula. Click at the beginning. Type if error. Open parentheses. Click at the end. Type comma and double quotations twice. Close parentheses and press enter. Now, if the invoice is neither paid nor overdue, it will display nothing here. Now here, when there is no any details of invoice in the row, it is displaying some results in the calculated column. For this, let's combine a function to remove these. In the NOD columns for cell, double-click in the formula. Click at the start. Combine a function, then open parentheses. In the logical test parameter, test whether the invoice number cell is blank. For this, click on the invoice number cell, press equals then type double quotation twice. Then give a comma, now, in the value if true parameter, again type double quotation twice. Now give a comma. In the value if false parameter, this previously written function will work. Now click at the end of formula, close parentheses, and press enter. Now drag the formula down. Here you see, if there is not any invoice number, the results are now blank. Do the same for all formula used columns, except the days taken for payment column. In case of days taken for payment, we have to calculate the days taken only if there is some value in date of payment receipt. For this combine if function this way, double click in the formula at the beginning, type if, open parentheses. In logical test, click on date of receipt equals double quotation twice, give a comma, in the value if true, again type double quotation twice. Give a comma, in the value if false, this formula will work. Close parentheses and press enter. Drag the formula down. Now, the days taken cell will display result only if there is value in date of receipt. Now to highlight the row automatically for overdue and paid invoice by separate colors, use the conditional formatting. First, select the range from A4 to K13. Click on Home tab, then Conditional Formatting. Then click on New Rule. Click on Use a Formula to determine which cell format. Now in the Formula box, write this. Equals dollar symbol K4 equals double quotation paid double quotation. Click on the Format button. Click on Fill tab. Then choose the color for highlighting. Let's take blue color. Click on OK buttons. Now for Overdue, click on Home, Conditional Formatting, then Manage Rules. Click on this rule, then click on Duplicate Rule button. Click on Edit Rule. Now change this paid to Overdue. Click on Format button. And choose a different color for Overdue. Let's take here yellow color. Click on OK, OK, Apply and OK. Now here you see, the color highlights is given to paid and overdue invoices. This is dynamic now. If an invoice is paid, color will auto-update. If an invoice goes in overdue state, color will update automatically. Now everything is complete. If you want to practice this, you can download the sample workbook file from video description below. If you are new here in this channel, request you to subscribe. If this was useful, hit the like button. See you in next video tutorial.